the hell? Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, <coughs> this wouldn't be a problem. What seems to be the problem? This oh, oh my god. Hard drive, bro. Yep, very filthy. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. What the hell? Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close I the can see why. See what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Well, ew. What kind of background is this that? Place is fueled by oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, external NT virus. Scan and computer. Now we scan. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of stuff. You want a massage? Bring the casino to you. <laughs> Exterminate. Give me a second, will you? Wait, 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 I gotta say it good. Exterminate. All right, now we do it. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe <clears throat> for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? What the hell? Boris announces it at the keynote. Minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. What's going on here? This is the future of American economy. Jay thinks being a quirky douche boosts creativity. <laughs> <laughs> what? Being a douche increases creativity? Wow. What's going on here? Hello there, I'm here to interrupt your interview. I want to listen to what he's saying. All right, I, don't, I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying, but oh well. So we're here. Grab the stuff. Get out of here. Bingo. Yeah, exit the building. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Goodbye. Peace. What the hell do you think you're doing? He just stopped. What the hell's going on? What is he doing? What the hell? What are they doing over there? What the? They ain't work. Get back to work. I'm gonna say he's having a seizure. He just saw, he saw just looking. He's like, what the hell? That's right, get back to work. All right, Invader Cafe. Ooh. Oh, right in the face. Headshot. You're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you wanna get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your arrogance? <laughs> so apparently, the only thing that you need to know about joining the there was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. If I drown in mucus, it's your fault. You illiterate effing thieves. Well, someone someone's upset. Yeah, it seems you only need to know the air guitar move and play beanbag or whatever that thing's called. But oh well. I ain't holding on. All right, so watch the keynote at Michael's house. Will do. And hey, awesome driving, dude. You're worse than me. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't, I don't ya. Lester, the things in the prototype. Teabag time, my friend. Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. Oh. I'm a movie guy. Low blow Classic to Vinewood. Call of Duty. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. 
Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. All right, I'm gonna try to cue this right before, like, I'm gonna make it perfect. So I might wait like three minutes till he's done talking or something. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Fuck it, tits. Give it up. Like an RKO her. RKO her. Damn, she's annoying. There it is. Jay Norris. Life Invader. Founder and CEO. Wait for Jay Norris to pull out the prototype phone. And then give him a call. Whoa, world domination. That is Oh, Jane Norris is gonna be the next Hitler, sounds like it. Every penny we could in the process. Will we have one of the youngest workforces in the world? An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive. 14.4? Sounds like a sweatshop. Damn, those kids probably getting paid. Less than minimum wage. Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. Doc. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal computerized device now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 7. On damn the bus, you can dock on the subway stay docked you can be docked at home and at the same time you're docking with some kids at the public pool that doesn't sound right we went to the guys at food computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. Ooh. What are you doing? At around this point in my what the hell? There was meant to be a <laughs> that was a random pause. To introduce the device. But we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hit the oh, hold on a second. I think someone Alright, I think that was a good part to do it. Hello? Oh baby a headshot. Damn. Well, rip. I guess you could say that was a blast. <laughs> Sarcastic laugh. Expand. Yeah, I was thinking pretty. I wonder if I can buy some shares. Markets. Ah, uh, let's see here. I think I Muller and Bob Muller, E. Cola, Life Invader. Yeah, of course, Life Invader is going to go down. Now, actually, what's going up? Dollar Pills, Fly US, Cool Beans, Bank of Liberty, Burger Shot. Eh, it seems as though there's nothing really going up. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, well. Alright, so let's see what Lester has to say about this unfortunate event. Les, that was heavy. <clears throat> you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. Alright. Hey, about that other thing. 
You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. So I, I'm guessing he's leaving. He's gonna leave me a link to the shares. I got a message. Dear Michael, keep practicing those breathing exercises and stop looking for people to blame. Come and see me soon. Yours truly, Isaiah, Isaiah or Isaiah Frieda Learner. So apparently he doesn't want to see me as of now. So I guess we can just go and meet Lester, or I can go back and do a Michael mission. But so what's the fun of doing a Michael mission when there's a perfectly good Lester mission over there? Well, let's just do the Michael mission, I guess. Whoa! And actually, before I actually do the Lester mission, there's a couple of things I've been wanting that I want to do before I start doing a, a heist setup, like choosing my my heist people to work with, people to work with. Because there are some um, events that happen around um, around the the map that people will join your heist group for less money so I'll be doing that before I start doing the setup for the heist <laughs> 